Okay, so I would like to just run you guys through how to install Bob. Um, I have a browser window open on the left, and that is pointing to github.com forward slash Bob camera forward slash Bob install. The terminal window on the right, I am going to just run through the set of instructions that are visible in the browser on the left. So first of all, install dependencies. So just copy the dependencies. I already have those installed, so it'll, they will not be installed again. Next, we clone the repo or repository. It's very quick to clone, so that's done. So let's change directory. And now we run setup. So running setup does a couple of things. One, it will install Docker and Docker Compose if they aren't installed. If it does install that, please reboot your machine and open the terminal again, navigate back to Bob install. If it does not install Docker and Docker Compose, you don't have to reboot. You will now be presented with the config options. The config wizard, um, or options um, allows is a menu driven approach to changing the configuration parameters of Bob. It's basically a way of editing the .env file. Um, if you are comfortable editing the .env file using a text editor, please do so. Navigate to Bob install, open the .env file in a text editor. The 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 main the main bits that you are going to need to change is the Bob source. If you running an RTSP camera, you will want to change that to RTSP. Um, and also the Bob RTSP URL. We provide an example of a couple of manufacturer URLs. Um, I'm not sure which one will be suitable for you. One thing to note is please ensure you have a username and password set up on the camera. Um, that username and password needs to be able to access the RTSP stream as well as the um, Envoy subsystem. So it needs to be able to access both. For these demonstration purposes, we are going to leave the config file as is. So leave it as a video overlay. Close that. Um, quit out of that. So um, now what we need to do is run Bob. So we use the run shell script. We want to run in test mode. So run in test so that, that, that will essentially start the containers. And now what we can do is we can navigate to this link in our browser, and we should see test video overlaid with 15 test objects zooming around the screen. I have done a video on the web UI. I am likely to do another one in the near future as the menu options have changed on the left. However, even though the menu options have changed on the left, a lot of that video will still be relevant. They they have mainly just we've mainly just moved them around to sections which make more sense. We have included a couple more support channels, mainly YouTube and Facebook. Um, if you have any questions surrounding Bob, or if you run into trouble, please go onto our Facebook group and log the question there. Though those who are technically minded, you can use GitHub to report bugs or request features as well. But if you do not want to sign up to GitHub, please just go onto Facebook and post your question in our group. We look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments section. Please like and subscribe for more videos.